Um, I don't want to take anything away of 2017, but you go into 2018 and the pressure begins to mount when the win streak goes to 14 and to 15 and it, and it, and it moves down the line. And here's Memphis again. And I remember everything about this. All of a sudden, the clouds come in. All of a sudden, it begins to rain. It was probably the wettest day that I've ever experienced on a, on a football field as a coach or as a player. We're getting run off the field. We can't stop Daryl Henderson. He's running for touchdowns. We're missing tackles. The offense is just sitting there, and we're not doing anything. Matt Wright just drained a field goal right before half. Um, we're going to the locker room. Dudes were not not looking too optimistic. I remember running to the tunnel and just waiting for everyone and, you know, just trying to tell everyone that we're still in this fight, we're still in this fight. Um, we're playing with a pretty much broken Mackenzie Milton. I was battling a grade four separated shoulder, didn't practice the whole week, coming off of SMU. As we got back in the locker room after the SMU game, I'll never forget when McKenzie took his pads off. His shoulder was red, yellow, purple, blue. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I thought that at, at halftime, uh, the ability of our leadership, uh, you know, Pat Jasinski on the backside, Wyatt Miller, um, McKenzie Milton, uh, to be able to get up in front of them and, and understand that, you know, there's a lot of things that have been built. Um, this was a pivotal moment for our program in the course of this season our ability to, to compete for a championship, which obviously, uh, you know, a conference championship was the, the number one goal that we had. And, uh, you know, those guys, uh, as much as anything, were able to reset the entire locker room, uh, bring some, some real calm to it, and be able to refocus us as we went out and understand that it was one play at a time. Um, we were good enough um, in all three phases to, to go out and execute and, and come back in this football game. You know, we were struggling to get momentum, pouring rain. Um, we had a pass play. You know, I scrambled up the middle and made a guy miss. Where it's fourth and one uh, on your side of the field, and you're thinking, okay, what are we going to do with the 29? Because I run to our sideline, and I'm like, I'm looking at the d and I'm like, Coach, we got a punt. You know, the clock was starting to – to move in the wrong direction on us in the, in the second half. Felt like uh, there were a limited number of opportunities. Uh, we're in a short yardage situation. And he's looking at it, and, and I think they burned a timeout, or we did. And he's like, all right, let's go bone here. Uh, it was an aggressive call, uh, but one that I felt like we had to, to go execute at that point in the football game. But I also had great trust in our guys, and, and that's in our entire football team. But in particular, uh, the guys up front, our, our five bigs, our tight ends, and, and our skill guys being able to execute in, in that situation. Uh, KZ looked at me and, and uh, had a question in his eyes for sure. I can't remember if he actually asked if we're going to do it, but I uh, felt like it was the right moment uh, in, in that situation for sure. As we hardly go under center, I'm like, just don't mess up this snap. Don't fumble the snap. <laughs> and when I did my part, I handed it off. I was like, all right, let's see if this works out. Um, but I, I, at the time I wasn't sold on the call, but, you know, luckily, um, you know, coach hype, you know, he had some big kahunas on that one and, you know, Tristan Hill made a great block and Taj was untouched to the end zone. It was a huge momentum swing in that game in our season. And really that was one of, one of, if not the most in that one street. And you look back and you go, how in the world did UCF pull that out? And while we had more games, down 17 at Memphis in 2018, that to me was the big moment. Man, we, we gave everything in that game and, you know, we were able to be plus one. And that's what we always talk about, just being plus one at the end of it. And um, that's, a, that's a feeling I'll never forget. And, you know, the, the Peace Bowl was great, but it was also kind of like a sense of relief, like a deep breath, like, oh, okay, we didn't blow it. But that one was like, all odds were against us and you know we found a way